folks, welcome back to another Flight Sim video. In this video, we're going to go through my ASCA and my Active Sky settings that I've got currently set in P3D today. Um, this is exactly what I've got running. You know, this, I'm going to show you exactly what I've got set and how I've got it set and why I've got it set. And then hopefully, you guys are about to replicate this in your sim and and have the best sort of best uh, scenario when it comes to flying and visuals. Because I feel, for me personally, is I have the best. I feel I have the best setup for what my clouds look like and how I my sim performs because sometimes if you're especially if you're coming into really bad weather you get dropping frames or you, you get sim stutters and and for me I don't really want that so what I've got I've been tweaking these for a long long time and I thought right okay I've got them I've got them ready let me show you guys what I've got set and what I've got them set to and why I've got them set to this so coming over I won't go through every single one of these tabs because I think it's just I'll go through the only ones I've got and you can pause the video at any time to stop and check and double check and triple check. But really, I'll just go through the key main ones that I've changed because there's a lot of settings here and I don't want to go through everyone and bore people and have a 20 minute video on how I've got my ASCA and Active Sky settings because you're not really interested. You're just interested in the key features that I've got set up and why I've got them set. So first of the one I've changed is download interval. I've got that set to five minutes. Default is 15, but I think if you just want the most up-to-date weather at any time, you've got just set it to the lowest. It's going to use, obviously, more resource um, and more energy, um, and obviously it might make your sim a little bit slower. But overall, it's going to give you the perfect scenario when you're trying to get real-world weather and um, in your sim. Next one I've changed is uh, maximum cloud layers. Now, currently default is 5. I've actually set that down to 3. You probably could leave it at 5 um, in most cases. But again, like I said before, I want to make sure I've got the best performance for visual. And I just think moving this down to three, you could probably put it at four. Uh, I have it at three. Again, it's just a personal preference. Again, you can choose whatever you want to do. So minimum draw distance is now set, is currently set to 60. Um, just want to make sure that I've got the minimum amount of clouds in and around. It just makes my sim much more faster. Uh, a maximum cloud is 110. Now, I could probably move it up to 120, and if people with a little less PC load probably can set it down to 100. But for me, I feel 110 is just about right for what I want it for. The next one you want to have ticked is multi-layer thunderstorm uh, clouds. This gives it a bit more thickness when it comes to a storm, and it just makes, uh, makes it look a bit more vi it visually um, impresses me when I see it. It just makes it look so much nicer. So if I come down to the wind options, I've got my maximum wind turbulence. Default is 100. I've got it turned down to 20 just so that I don't get really severe turbulence and obviously it starts throwing the plane all over the place. You probably could turn it up to be brutally honest, but again, going through my settings and how I want it, this is perfect for me. Turbulence uh, effect scale, um, I've got that down to 10%. Um, it just This is the effect on of turbulence on the aircraft. So um, when you're flying on for a storm, you know how much you're, you get chucked about in the sim and how much your air, air, aircraft moves up and ups and downs and, and speed um, changes and it, all that. So I've got mine turned right down. Um, I should probably have it turned up for more realism, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's how I got it set. And then finally, probably the most in one of the most important settings to have in your Active Sky setup is having the application startup sounds as off. I have no idea why Active Sky want to have that when you load up the sim with headphones on and you load up active sky the noise it makes is absolutely insane absolutely frightens the hell out of me but so have this switched off guys have it switched off so moving over to my asca obviously like i said before i'm running p3d v5 um you can see my other my current sim settings that'll be in the top right hand corner now you click through to that video and see what current sim settings i'm currently running but i have obviously i have active sky asca i don't have enhanced atmospherics turned on in the sim i just feel like it doesn't look visually very good at the moment obviously I need to make more improvements to it but as the improvements come i'll potentially move over but at this moment in time asca works perfectly in p3d v5 so i'm using it and as you can see i'm using global automatic everything is set to automatic i'm not setting any full dynamics it's literally full auto um just so you know i get the exactly where what where the real world weather there is in any particular time so coming to the settings you can see here you can pause it whenever you want um but basically got things turned up quite high and um, there's not really much change here i think most of this is default anyway um, but you can play around and this, like I said, this is exactly what sim settings that I currently have in the sim. 
there we go then guys another settings video for you if you like um if you like the video please consider hitting that uh, thumbs up button and hitting that subscribe icon and turn on the notification bell any other sim settings you want me to see put in the comments down below and just give me how how what your settings are like compared to mine i've been Togo virtual thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.